Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Dr. Linda Kramer. This is their monthly horoscope for June. I hope and pray that this gives you some guidance, some information and some support for what we're facing. Okay, so let's get straight into this. Um, first thing I want to know is if you watch right to the end, I'm going to give some news, okay? So watch the end because there's some news at the end. All right. Aries. Oh, my gosh. Aries. This is your month for communication and uh, most of all with yourself. This is not a time to sit and contemplate. This is your doing month, Aries people. Um, so get out there. This is your networking month. This is communication at its best. Okay, it's going to be a busy month for you. So use this time productively, getting out there, networking, talking with people, sharing your ideas and getting out there and really making things happen for you guys this month. The message that I got from her when I did this, there is no need to stress. So start being productive. That's your message, Aries. Hope you liked it. So now we move into Taurus. Money is on your mind this month. Money, 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 money. Perhaps overspending has now got some consequences that you have to take stock of. Okay, so be productive again and really contemplate what you're spending money on. Are there things that you can sell and get rid of? Okay, so on a good note, Energy is heightened for you this month, our Taurusian babies, okay? So use that strength and power, get motivated and make things happen for yourself, okay? Your message for this month, Taurus, imagine what you want and ask the universe to provide. <clears throat> so Taurus, there's yours. All right, Gemini's happy birthday month to Gemini's. Okay, congratulations are on the cards for you guys this month. Not just because it's your birthday month, but because things that you've been working on are now coming to fruition. Thank goodness. Okay, we need some good news, right, Gemini's? So this is where you have spent the time sorting out you and this is the month where those rewards start to come in. It's sort of like reaping what you sow. This is your reaping what you sow month, okay? This is also a great month for passion and love. So whatever you put that love and passion into, whether it be relationships, working, or even your hobbies, or even if you want to change house, if you're passionate about going somewhere, this is the month it will come true for you if and hopefully that it aligns with your energy, okay? So your message for the month is rekindle those embers and start that fire within, okay? So think about what you want. Gemini birthdays and happy birthday again. Our Cancer Kids, <clears throat> this is your career month, okay? Time is now to evaluate any promotion, further training, or any career change that you may want to make. This is the itty-gritty of the month where you say, right, there's a full moon coming in about three or four days. So make that best time possible by getting rid of what you don't want in your life and starting fresh with new ideas. Okay? It's also a time not to be sp spontaneous with or frivolous with spending. And I think that's across the board with everybody right now, right? But Jet Cancer, more specific for you guys. Be aware of those who may take advantage of you. You know, don't be over generous with your friends, okay? Because leeches will come out of the woodwork and ask, okay? So be aware of any time or effort or money that you're putting into people. Always think about yourself first, obviously, okay? Because this is your month where you're going to really doubt yourself. Self-doubt creates us to feel like we're a little bit worthless. So keep remembering how special, loved, adored you are, Cancers, okay? 
and make it all about you ultimately where do you want to see that career goal in five years this is your month to start making it and your message for this month use logical thinking to make decisions and greatness can be obtained wow how cool is that now we move on to leo leo babies oh my god this is your best month of the year and oh my god you know i always say you know leos we've got the lions you guys are out there as that strength and courage so this is your month to shine with who you truly are okay moving forward is on the cards for you this month okay it's a very busy month so make sure to rest well and try not to think too much when you're trying to go to sleep okay so leo congratulations it's your best month of the whole year coming up so your message from her is look for opportunities in everything you do so you don't miss them okay be aware constantly of what's out there so you don't miss any of those good opportunities that are coming for you leo so now we're into virgo this month is a time to spread your wings let people see who you are okay if you've been on a diet for the last few months this is the time to go and buy that new outfit where people see who you truly are okay moving residence is also on the cards so when we look at moving residence it may be that we are going to physically move to a new house or location but it could also be we want to dream about a holiday destination where we're going to stay there for a week it may be that you go and spend time with your friends or family where you're actually in their house for a while so don't just think it's just oh yeah she told me i was going to move and i didn't because it's all about being in other areas okay so as this is a great month to sell and buy now it's not just about buying and selling real estate that's coming for you this month it could be having that garage or yard sale it could be just taking things that you no longer use up to the charity shop so you're bringing new energies in as well okay so so be careful with spending because that's just across the board with everybody at this point so your message for this month virgo children moving forward only comes by letting go of the past remember letting go of the past is our materialistic items that we possess but it could also be emotional baggage from the past that we must let go of as well so moving forward only comes by letting go of that past all right so that's virgo now we'll move into libra Alrighty, Libra, this is your psychic month. Okay, this is the month where you've got to trust your instincts, trust that gut instinct. Okay, always be aware of where you are and what's going on around you. Use your gut, is your message for this month. Okay, travel and new adventures are also on the cards. So, of course, going into uncharted waters, be aware of where you are don't let other people take advantage of you and always stay on your guard when you're in new situations put up your protections around you is a good idea for Vir i'm so sorry for libra this month okay sometimes it's only when we take a break from ourselves is when everything becomes clear so if you are inundated with all the stress going on around you step back from it go and have that bubble bath that i was talking about in my live the other day and just sit there and really think where do I want to be in the next five years and will all this really be as important as I'm trying to make it out to be now okay so try and get that 2020 clarity of perspective by looking back on this time and just say yeah this really isn't that important okay it's not really going to affect me so your message Libra is time to declutter and trust the universe your instincts and your psychic abilities will be very tuned in this month good on you libra okay now we're into scorpio <clears throat> scorpio it's your health month okay this is a time for healing both your body and your mind this is your time to really contemplate 
who you are, what you've done to yourself, both emotionally and physically, and also time now to get rid of all that excess injury, illness from the past. <clears throat> this is a time when you can self-heal. How amazing is that? If you're thinking, oh my God, how do I do that? I have videos on, in my personal development um, playlist that you can go and watch and they're all free. Okay, so um, you are having your health month. This could be a fortunate month also for move for money and love as relationships are heightened. Now, when we talk about relationships, is it just your partner? It could be a relationship with family, parents, aunties, uncles, cousins. It could be a relationship with a pet or your neighbor, your co-worker. It could be a relationship like I have with my computer mouse. Okay, so relationships are heightened this month. Your message is feeling good on the inside makes us look good on the outside. I'm going to repeat that one because this is a great one. I love it when she tells me this stuff. Feeling good on the inside makes us look good on the outside. What a great month you got coming up, Scorpio. Sagittarius. Okay. All right. So this is your social month. Okay. This month, you've got so many opportunities to reach out and connect and network with other people. Wow. Start those new hobbies. Get into your tribe, guys. Okay. Because one thing that is apparent for you this month, it's a very stressful month and anxiety is on the cards. So be aware of how you're feeling. Okay. I'm going to talk at the end about what's going on with me. You're about to get a little bit of a surprise, but anxiety with me is big. And how I deal with that is I do all my relaxation and I think positive try to all the time. So again, go through my personal development playlist and have a look in there at ways to deal with anxiety when it hits. But remember, anxiety is just our imagination creating future events that have not occurred yet that are causing us to stress. So be careful. So your message, Sagittarius, for this month, everything always works out in the end. Try not to stress. Okay. So now we go to Capricorns. <clears throat> Alrighty. This month is where you'll be doing a lot of reminiscing. This is your month to go past, go over all your past experiences. You may want to pull out that old photo album and spend three hours just looking at old photos. This is your month for going over all those past events and remembering them fondly. So evaluating our past is always good for deciding our future. Okay. So this will be a great time to make new goals and dreams and plans of what you want in your future as well. Looking back is always great to work out where we're going. Okay, you may want to hide and be a little bit reclusive this month as well. So don't worry about that because we all need time to deal with things. We all deal with things differently. So if you do want to lock yourself in a cupboard for a few days and just sit there quietly going over all your old memories, that's okay. But if it does get too much for you, please reach out and talk to somebody, okay? Okay, so your message is tuning out of the world is beneficial for the mind. So there's your message this month, Capricorn. So now we go into Aquarius. Alrighty, this is your imagination month. Your imagination is going to go crazy this month, thinking of all these different scenarios. It's like you're going to be in those alternate realities and alter dimensions. Oh my God, you know, you know we talk about other dimensions where we all have different lives and different things that we do every day. This is your month where you're going to be doing that a lot. So be aware, daydreams and thoughts of other places are going to fill your mind a lot this month, okay? Be aware of what you want to manifest because again, with this full moon that we've got coming up in a few days, about a week's time, 
just remember that this is going to be a manifestation time for you guys okay setbacks may eventuate so be careful of what you spend on just in case you do get those unexpected bills or expenses that come in okay okay but remember contemplation and when we have to pause and be patient for things is when we really do use our good critical thinking and logical skills to work out decisions for our future all right so your message for this month says manifesting starts with imagination so use it wisely be careful what you manifest so only put your thoughts into positive things okay manifesting starts with imagination so use it carefully now we go to pisces i am a pisces you pisces girls and boys out there are going to love this one because this is the month of emotions for us if something's going to go wrong it will and it already has for me because i'm a pisces and it happened about well i'm going to be honest with you guys let me get through what i've got and then i'm going to tell you about me okay be careful this month pisces people because this month we've got setbacks we've got unexpected events we've got unexpected bills things coming in things that are going to stress it out stress us out to the max be careful with everything you do guys okay unforeseen circumstances can arise so be careful not to spend unnecessarily okay this is a time to be honest with friends and find your tribe <clears throat> so be honest with people and i'm about to be honest too okay the message that i've got from her be honest this month so i have to be honest with you guys i did my live on monday morning i went outside my last video that i did was a live on monday the 29th of june i went outside and was having some lunch and i broke a tooth off so I spent the afternoon ringing around dentists, finding one that would take me and would please be a little bit lenient on me. <clears throat> so I found this dentist who gave me a free consultation and he glued my tooth back in because I put it back in and he's glued it in, but it's only a temporary fix. I am looking at a $5,000 dental bill. in two weeks i'm getting two fillings and in four weeks so it's two weeks after that i'm getting four extractions and i'm getting dentures i'm honest with you guys i hope that you appreciate that okay these are those unexpected <laughs> circumstances that i hope that you appreciate like i've always known i needed new teeth right because my teeth are awful everybody every day says linda when are you getting your teeth fixed i have now got no choice i have had to bite that bullet and i must go in and have all this dental work so the big fake scream which if you if you've watched that video the big fake scream releasing all those endorphins so we stay calm when things go wrong that's what we've got to do this month pisces people okay so be aware poor part of me but unexpected boom just came out of me there you go <laughs> unexpected circumstances okay so pisces just remember this month it's our cray cray month if it's going to go wrong it will <laughs> i wish i had more hope for us and i hope next month for pisces it's going to look better but pisces please stay sane please talk to friends if it gets too much for you okay and reach out to people and be honest with people again so i hope that you like this horoscope some of you guys are in for a really great month people like myself we're having a one of the worst months of the month but hopefully 2024 is going to be a lot better but i can't see it being much better with where we're going so stay safe guys please know that i love you all please know too the big news is i must now shut down doing free stuff for anybody I can't afford it now that I've got this huge bill as well as my rent just went up so as someone said to me in a comment on YouTube they said Linda your energy is valuable so you must charge for it so therefore guys in the description below I do have lindaray.info 
If you go there, I've got a couple of tabs. One is how to get my books and another one is how to get a reading from me. So please know thank you to all of those who have received freebies from me over the past. I love doing freebies. I hope and pray the universe looks after me in the future so I can start giving out my stuff for free again. I try and my best to help everybody on the planet. I don't judge people's situations or circumstances. I don't care if you're the multi-millionaire or the homeless guy on the street. I will love, support and cherish you for whatever you're going through. That's me. That's my integrity and that's my moral compass. So if you do like this channel, below I do have my PayPal link um, if you do wish to support what I'm doing on here. So thank you so much everybody for watching. I love you all. Stay safe. And I hope this horoscope has um, given you some insight for the next four weeks for you all. Have a great month, guys, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.